I feel like a lot of life is just realizing that your thoughts really drastically affect your reality. They shape your reality. So in, in order to change your reality, what you must do is change your thoughts. And in order to change your thoughts, you have to know that you are thinking. You have to know that you are inside of a thought loop. Because usually when you're thinking about something, you know what I'm saying, you're thinking about thoughts like you're thinking about the past something that happened to you this person who broke your heart or when someone done you wrong or you're thinking about an old memory you basically get consumed in those thoughts if that makes sense so you don't actually realize that you are thinking those thoughts are basically consuming you and this is a bit hard to understand, but I try to think of it like this. It's basically like watching a movie and the, the, the actors in the movie, the characters, they break the fourth wall. So when they break the fourth wall, it's like they're, they are acknowledging the fact that they have an audience so and this may be hard to understand too but when you think of it in a way where you are experiencing the thoughts you are not the you are not the um you are not the thinker right you're not the thinker you are experiencing these thoughts and You have to think of it like, so when you get a thought, basically, right? You get a thought, just think of it like clouds. Clouds are moving through the sky. They're moving through the sky and you're watching them pass by. And you have to think about thoughts a lot, you know what I'm saying, in that way. That's the way you have to think of your thoughts. Because a lot of the times when you are thinking of things or you're feeling some type of way, you get consumed in those thoughts. But when you literally know that you are thinking, right, you're getting these negative thoughts and you're like, oh, OK, so the reason that I'm having these negative thoughts is because of X, Y or Z. And at that point, at that moment, when you realize that you have gotten lost in your thoughts, then you can suddenly you can basically or gradually bring your attention back to your to, to the present moment. Bring your attention back to the presence. Bring your attention to what's around you. Like if you're in nature, you're walking, you know, you start focusing on the walking. This is another thing. This is basically what meditation does for you. It basically, so you know how you're meditating, you're trying to focus on your breath or you're focusing on a certain thing. And that, you know, your breath is the easiest thing to focus on. So you're focusing on a certain thing and then you get lost in your thoughts. You know, you're thinking about when you're what, what muscle groups you're going to work in the gym today. Or you're thinking about your job. You're thinking about an old relationship or friends. Or you're thinking about when you were first born or something like that. If you can remember that, you probably can't. But you're thinking about all types of stuff. And then you snap in the reality you, you you realize that you're thinking you realize that you've gotten lost into your thoughts and then you set you you just quickly but gently you bring your attention back to your breath and this is the same thing when you you know you catch yourself thinking about something you don't want to think about you get trapped in that in that toxic thought cycle and you just you just quickly but but you you bring your thoughts, you bring your attention back to the present moment. You're aware of where you are. And then, you you know, when you're thinking, you, you get a thought and you say, wait a minute. 
I don't have to think those thoughts. I can change it if I want to. And also, I don't have to identify with, you know, those painful memories in the past or those, you know, this coworker or this customer who or this person who cursed me out yesterday or whatever. I don't have to think about that. I don't have to identify with it. I don't have to allow myself to get immersed into it. You just simply can, you just look at it as a thought and that's literally it. You, you look at it as a, you look at it as a thought and you let it pass. It, it it'll pass. And this is basically, I don't know, I think of this as breaking the fourth wall. You know what I'm saying? So and what you have to do is you have to replace those negative thoughts, those, you know, those 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 thoughts you're thinking in the past and the memories and stuff. You replace those with positivity, like visualizing where you want to be in the future and taking action to get there and just being grateful for the things that you have in your life. And sometimes I'll go into this deep thinking and all that, but that's a story for another time. So, yeah, but that's how you break the fourth wall and basically get out of that thought cycle that you can find yourself in sometimes. And it takes time. It takes a lot of practice. But if you keep at it, you stay consistent with meditating and you kind of just level up day by day. You know, one day you can meditate for like five minutes or like one week and meditate for five minutes and then you can build it. You can increase your the time you meditate by what, like one minute every single week. And, you know, by the time like in, in a year, you may you may be meditating for an hour at that point. You know what I'm saying? So it's very interesting. So it's, it's very much something you can progress. You don't have to start out by meditating for 30 minutes a day. If 30 minutes is too much, you can literally just meditate for five minutes. It's not about how long you can meditate or how long you can do something or how good you can do it. It's about progress. Yeah, so yeah, my name is Raheem the Goat, and if you found this video helpful, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, never give up. Your youngest self is rooting for you. Peace.